We're picking out our pens for a very exciting thing. If you guys don't know about tool, <laughs> you should. Yes. This thing. This was the first job I had out of college and I love this pen. You spelled it wrong, nice. <laughs> very funny. Nervous. Today's the day! Nervous about you? Nervous, but why would she, why would you feel nervous? Um, because I'm in debt. <laughs> True. We bought a house, and today's closing day, and we will catch you guys up on what our past month looks like because it was it's a little brutal. Yeah. But right now, we're gonna go sign some papers and get the freaking key. Really, I have no idea what to expect for closing. Congrats, guys! I'm so excited for you. <laughs> <laughs> Best realtor ever. Day. Her signature. <laughs> Eight, two, I think. Oh. What's what the date? Ten. 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 Yeah. That workaround or whatever. Right. We officially closed on the house and <laughs> yeah, we honestly thought it was gonna take way longer, like hours, but I don't even think it took like 20 minutes, which honestly was nice. I would much rather have it like that. Um, but we didn't get the keys. Like I guess we thought like after we signed all the papers, we would literally be handed the keys. And I think Kiana thought that too. But the notary girl, she's newer to I guess the company, the title company, and so she was like kind of confused on how we even get the keys. So we're basically gonna just drive to the house and see if the keys are in the lockbox. We're just waiting on the title company to basically answer our call to tell us how we can get these keys. Now the fun part starts with the mm -hmm. remodel. Yes. <laughs> now I can just sit and look at everything. Imagine this, you said? The sellers gifted us these um, beautiful posters. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Just a box. Oh, that could be our memory box. <laughs> they left us a mop too, and some boxes. What yard equipment? Oh. Nice. Just in time for the fall. <laughs> no, we'll bring her later. Checking the water pressure because this is important. Of course, we do this after we buy the house, though. Go Smith. Here on the road. Here. <gasps> what? <laughs> Sophie, you're not a city girl anymore. <laughs> you are not a city girl anymore. You have so much grass to pee on. Why'd you just do that, Sevi? Go, go, go. Go, 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 Sophie. Go, go, go. Do you like it, Sophie? Sophie, you want to see your backyard? What is this? We have a surprise for you. She ain't ready for this. <gasps> go, 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 go. <laughs> what the? So you can already sniff out that other dog. Yeah. This is your house. Well, what do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Use the step. Good girl. <laughs> you <have> grass. <laughs> I know. If it was up to her, this whole place would be concrete. <gasps> First yeah. pee. That's your house right there. You get that whole thing. Go check out your room. Come on. It's gonna be a bitch to get her up these stairs when she's sleepy. <laughs> what do you think? It's a zoomy spot, I think. We brought some lawn chairs because we obviously have no furniture in here. And then we also brought like a mattress topper because I think we might watch a movie and carve pumpkins. <laughs> Not only are we carving pumpkins tonight, but we're also having some home-sized pizza. So like bless and bless and bless. Yes. Um, and also, and yes, that too. 
Um, also, I'm setting up our little projector so we can watch maybe a movie. And then I forgot to mention that we have some floor samples. Things are already happening, y'all. We have lots we want to do to this house. Not that it's not livable, but I obviously want to make it to my liking. And the floor samples are in here, so maybe we'll do this a little bit later because we want to eat the pizza while it's hot. We just had our pizza and it was so good. And now it's time for floor samples. I can't wait any longer. So let's open it up. We have lots to choose from. Let's like put them down on the floor maybe. I don't even know. I hope they're labeled. Like how do we even know? It says French yeah. Okay. Okay, we're good. Oh my gosh. This one? Babe, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that was the only one that I didn't like. <laughs> I don't get it. It's a vinyl, but these feel like wood. I feel like this is too dark. If we get enough of these, we could just make our own floor. Yeah. <laughs> They're $2.99 per sample. Can you around? I don't know if these are the same thing. Yeah. This is one. They're different. <clears throat> they barely look different. Okay, maybe on the camera this one's lighter. We have them all laid out. This one is a no-go. It's like too gray. So I go high and you put them in order from first to worst. Okay. And you mix them all up and I put them in first to worst. Okay. And then you look at the video and see. Okay. <laughs> Just mix them all up. Okay. You want to go first? Okay. This is my order. So this is the number one. This is my favorite, going down to the least favorite. Let's see. Nope. I think this was. Why? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking that. But I don't know, it kind of pulls a little bit gray, so. That's a little texture in it, it felt more real. Oh, okay. I think I like less texture. I do really like this, though. This was my number three or something. Yeah, I don't hate it. <coughs> what do you think? Should we go for this? Or this? In the middle. I just don't like the knots in it. it looks gray. This one does? Both of them. I think this one's a bit warmer. I feel like it's so hard to tell. So we're between these two, I think. Um, the French Oak Point Logos and French Oak Dunes from Malibu White Plank. I want to see what they look like online because one of them has more knots. And I don't think I like too many knots. So I want to see what it looks like. Sophie, we need your help. Of course you would pick this one because you're gray like this one. Guys, I think we landed on this one, which I don't even know if this was in my top five, but this is the Malibu Wide Plank French Oak Victoria. It could have been. I think Ryan said it was in his top. Uh, watch it back, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> we'll watch it back. But it looks good online, so I think we're gonna go with this one. Guys, we got our Samsung Freestyle to set up, and we might be watching, I don't even know what's on, honestly. But we don't even have internet here, so we just connected to Ryan's, um, Ryan's hotspot. So that was smart. And what do you think, Rai? Netflix, Hulu? Mm -hmm. It's We're currently watching, um, what's it called? American Horror Story, but we don't have a new episode. I think that comes out on a Thursday. Let's watch, check Netflix, maybe. Let's check Chucky last night, right? Yeah, we watched Chucky last night, and that was on what, Netflix? No, it was on HBO Max, right? Oh, let's check, check Netflix's spooky, spooky movies. Okay. Sophie, can you move? <laughs> Can you move? Oh, this is not me. Oh, this is it's actually a gift from my aunt. It's also a gift for me and everyone. Everyone gets to see facial expressions and everything. He does. Watch out. I'm Zach, by the way. Yeah. You should have seen him when he was doing that. Where do I go? Is this his little brother or something? Good job. Same type of mind, too. He's everyone. Yeah. Hey, we're just moving in.
let's do a little overview of our house buying process. So I can't even remember what month it was, but we actually put in an offer on a house in North Austin. And um, basically it was such a good price that I literally thought it was a joke. I saw it the day, probably the hour that it came on the market or like at least apps. You had a notification probably? No, I didn't. Uh, I was like, I was just like searching on the apps like every hour. And so I saw this place and we went to tour it like, I think that day or what was it the yes, next day? Yeah, next day. And um, basically, yeah, we were like, okay, this is great because we wanted a fixer upper. It was really close to a highway, so it was perfect. We put an offer on that one and it got nine offers in like five days, six days. So obviously we got outbid. So we were very crushed because we just like already had so many plans in our head to renovate the space. We toured like a million places. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I think one thing about Sonoma and her family, the houses have to face east. Yeah. So, so there's like that limits us nine so or ten in Austin probably that face east. Yeah, there's really not that many. Yeah. We toured this one first and we were touring a bunch of other that same day. And we liked this one, but I remember thinking it was like kind of far out hmm. at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was also like I remember you feeling like a lot of, like very overwhelmed with how big it was and like the, th the things we probably wanted to do to the space. So that's why we were like, okay, let's just maybe not do this one. But then we were starting to look at other houses like further out, and then I was the like, same price. It needed just a little bit less work. Yeah. And I was like, well. And then we were like, why? Pay, like, yeah, much my exactly. House. And this was so much bigger. This is probably the biggest house, probably we we yeah, toured. Easily. Yeah. Probably by like five hundred square feet. Yeah, like a lot of the houses in Austin are like literally twelve hundred square feet. I feel like that's kind of average, maybe. Maybe 1,400. Our apartment is 1,100 square feet, so we obviously want to buy something bigger. Like if we're buying a home, like it has to be bigger than our freaking apartment. We were touring houses, and I was like, if we're gonna drive 20 minutes away anyway, I'm gonna go to the one that's huge and is closer. Yeah. So like while we were touring, we decided to like cancel out the last tour and just come back to this one. And um, yeah, we were like, we were almost six touring, and we were like, yeah. It's not like it's not gonna get better. <laughs> yeah. Us, you know, so. And then, so like at the start of like us touring homes, we had like a lot of options. I feel like every day, like things were popping up, but it started getting so slow. And like mm -hmm. even being under contract and like seeing houses at the end of like closing on the market, it was like still the ones that I was seeing like at the beginning. Yeah. So like houses were on the market for a while, and this house was. Also, kind of on the market for a while. So they countered, we countered again. I think they accepted that. We went under contract. Once we went under contract, we got an inspection. Right. And then we had the option and earnest, all that stuff paid in already. And basically, during the inspection, a lot of things came up. So we were expecting like a roof and like just random stuff, you know. Stuff, you know? Um, but the guy was like super thorough. Yeah. <laughs> it still wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. Yeah. But it gave us more like negotiating power. But know, in the cool. end, it really didn't like help that much because like they were not budging on the price, even though like very yeah. costly things needed to be done. So at the end, then but we were also the only person to build in this house. Yeah, which was annoying because we were like, Who, why are we fighting with the seller? Originally, when we were going to put the offer on the house, the leasing agent of the or the seller agent. <laughs> the seller agent told my real estate agent if there was no bids like in the next like, you know, few days, they were gonna pull it out and just like make it a rental. And so I, we always kind of knew that they had that to like maybe fall back on, you know? Yeah. So they didn't negotiate much with us. Yeah, because we we felt like, okay, they're, they could just like rent it out. After so many times of our option period getting pushed back You're on both of our sides, it had to be like back. seven times. Yeah, we were in, that little not under contract like a month and a half or six weeks or something yeah and like our closing date had to get put, pushed back two weeks um because of it and so when we finally settled on what the price was going to be and we were like fine like if they're not budging anymore like i want the house like we'll just like accept it whatever it's still like a pretty good price for the austin market we were on the phone with our real estate agent at 4 58 our deadline was at five to like confirm that we're good with the price and the appraisal came in that freaking second. The appraisal came in a lot lower than the original asking price. And so then we're like, well, at first I was like, what the frick does this mean? Because like, we didn't know we're first time home buyers. And um, then basically, if we wanted the house and they weren't gonna budge, we would have had to come up with that extra cash to cover at closing 
because the loan people were not going to give us more than the house was appraised for. Yeah. So we were like, okay, obviously we don't want to do that. Um, so we went back to the drawing board, tried to counter offer again, and we decided to meet in the middle. So <laughs> that was pretty much it all summed up. But let me tell you guys, it was an emotional roller coaster because one day I thought we were good on the house and I thought it was my house. And then the next day I didn't know if it was going to be our house. So, yeah. but it's our house now. So. I was like this close to being like, just bring it in. So Literally close. so many times Ryan was like, it's probably just like a sign that we like, this isn't for us. And I like, if I want something, I'm going to get it. <laughs> and if it's bad for you. Yes. But hopefully it's not. Hopefully we made the right decision. And I was talking to my parents and they were saying like, you really cannot predict the future. So like, even if, you know, maybe something else goes wrong, like you wouldn't have known. Mm -hmm. And like that, you can't beat yourself up about that. First day we got our keys, like it did not feel real. I know, it was like lunch one day we just closed and yeah. didn't even get the key at closed. Yeah, we didn't, but we like got it, it in the house. I feel like we're both the type of people, if it's not sunny, that day like the day doesn't feel real kind of mm -hmm. and like there was literally like four days where it wasn't sunny all of a sudden in austin and that was like the first four days of having our house and we we're like this just feels like a fever dream yeah. that it's not our house we even like um, ate pizza here and like hung out and we we're like it's just yeah. feel weird to it's like, like the house yeah it feels like <laughs> weird um so yeah i think obviously as we make it our own and you know, do renovations, like obviously it'll feel more like home and up, like when we get our furniture in too. <laughs> it starts tomorrow, renovations. So get ready, ready for, oh my yeah. god, yeah. Guys, there's too many okay. decisions that we have to make. Lights and stuff. But yeah, I bought recessed lighting on Prime Day. I bought a ring doorbell. I bought an Echo Show. I don't know, I kind of wanted that for the kitchen. We need to get door locks because we only have one key. We two keys now, but. Yeah. I don't know guys, there's like, obviously this house is beautiful and livable and it's great right now, but I would love to make it my own. And you guys saw that we picked out the wood floor, so that's very exciting. We got it all ordered and it was a little gut-wrenching, <laughs> the price of it all, but um, I know it's going to be worth it and I cannot wait to see this house transformed. I'm going to do a whole... Um, separate video on like an empty house tour. I feel like that would be fun because I feel like we do it every time we have a new apartment. So we gotta do it for the house. I know Sophie's so excited. Where you played ball today? Yes, we brought a ball over. Lots of house content to come. So click the link to subscribe and follow along for our journey. Honestly, though. Okay, yay! Bye, guys!